Before we begin, I'd like to thank the following members for joining my channel and helping support the community grow more and more. Thank you so much. If you would like to become a member, make sure to push the join button beside the subscribe button. And here comes the video. Hey guys, all over Windows here. Today I am back with another video. And today what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be installing Windows Whistler version 2257. I'm pretty sure in this build is the first build to have the whole Windows Whistler labeled on the uh, boot screen. I'm going to do a little bit of research as I go along, which means uh, I'm going to go to the beta, uh, beta wiki website and, you know, read the stuff like that. And of course, I won't get some like knowledge from chat as well, most, mostly right from rainy nights. But without further ado, let's go ahead and set this up, set up the camera and everything else. Let's go ahead and open up the laptop here. Let's go ahead and turn that off and turn the laptop on. And I went ahead and swapped the hard drive from the previous video, uh, the Longhorn video, uh, over back over to the Whistler one. So it definitely is going to be a lot faster than, you know, trying to install Longhorn. But I did get this. Whoops. Well, there went that. I, I got a package the other day and I haven't even opened it yet. I kind of wanted to show it on stream to see, you know, People could see what it is. I'm just hoping I didn't get scammed or anything like that. It was off of Amazon, so I guess you never know. But I got this. Well, I gotta turn the light back on. As you can see, it says SSD on it. 14th anniversary, 2007 to 2021. Three year anniversary. 64 gigabyte SSD. A king spec. I've never really heard of that. I've never really heard of this brand before. There's only like a very small few brands that make SSDs for IDE slots, but it's got, you know, this stuff labeled on it. I don't know if it's really true or not, but I'll go ahead and sign in real quick. Go ahead and open this package up and see what is in it. Nice. I'm greeted with a pure white box. <laughs> that love that sound. You open it up here, hey, there it is. Oh, interesting. It comes with a, a cable? Cool. It actually comes with an IDE cable. That's that's awesome. So here's the, the uh, SSD. I've never actually heard of Yansen before, but I mean, it's here, it's, a, it's an IDE SSD. So I'm probably going to be putting uh, the future Longhorn builds on this drive instead of the one I had previously. So yeah, we got this Yansen SSD on it. The back is written in some, you know, Yansen and then Chinese. I think that's Chinese. I'm not exactly, I'm not too certain. But instead of a SATA drive, it's called, it's called a PATA, PATA, PATA drive. I'm not exactly sure. So let's see, is this a typical IDE cable? Let's see. So this side is the default IDE, I think. Let's see, what's this side? I guess this is default. I don't know. It has all the holes in this one, but the, this side doesn't. No, this side does. Okay. I guess it's just a normal cable and it comes with uh, extra mounting screws as well, which is awesome. So that was my unboxing video. <laughs> I'm going to do what Rainy Knight said. They said to insert the 20, uh, let's see, 2250 disc. All right, I got the disc here. Oh, I press install now first and then swap it. Whoops. All right, don't mind me. I'll just go ahead and put this back in. Once the license agreement comes up. So this one, okay, swapping now. Let's see if that worked or if it's gonna spam me again. There we go. That worked, nice. I don't have to freaking miss anything. Does that trick always work for this kind of stuff? Because I would, I would love to do that for my Longhorn series because I know they have a lot of different builds. Because I'd love to look at every build, but if it doesn't work, I'll just, you know, fresh install it. I'll lose my stuff, I guess. Yeah, there it goes. Every time I freaking see this screen, I always can just hear the fake whistler sounds in my head. You guys know what I'm talking about? Ooh, oh, God. Look at, look at that down here. Look at that. The colors. 
Man, I can't wait to see the, the cool little, like, animation stuff. That's so freaking cool. But honestly, that's cool. I don't remember seeing this at all. While we wait, I'm going to go ahead and read off what Be uh, Beta Wiki has to say about this stuff. So, this is the final preview before Beta 1. It's got a new boot screen, which I don't think I'm going to read the whole thing. You guys can go look it up for yourself if you want more information. When upgrading to this build, a graphical overlay with a progress bar, which is in similar style to, a, to the GUI portion billboards, whatever that means, is shown during the text mode portion as it copies files. However, it still falls back to text mode if it encounters errors. So it must be talking about this right here, what, what I'm looking at right there. Oh, I see what they're talking about. Yeah, usually there's text down here, isn't there? Setup now includes billboards during the last portion of GUI setup that resembles the ones used in Windows 98 and Windows Me. Alongside of this build was upgraded from previous build or Windows version, and, and Ubi will run after the GUI portion of setup. So there's going to be an Ubi? The Ubi oddly reverted to the design seen in Windows Me Beta 3 builds, though with the Windows Me branding replaced with Windows Whistler. Merlin doesn't work again. Dang. Rip Merlin, man. Alright, so now there's shell stuff. What's this about? The login screen received minor updates such as a please wait message while shutting down, and the user logging in is shown during the login process. The professional theme has been given a makeover, that's good to know, and would largely remain unchanged up to build 2419. The theme was renamed to watercolor in build 2410. I love the watercolor theme. That must be what, uh, what this theme is they're talking about right now. Alongside, alongside with, sorry, along with the professional theme, the start panel, now called personal start menu, has been given a makeover. Professional SKU does not have an enabled to Okay, I'll have to read about this in a minute. There is now a comments link. The build removes hot pluggable devices from control panel. Clear type. Now it has a user interface to enable it. Starting with this build, the kernel supports the min minute, min int argument for booting. I'm not sure what uh, WP Windows pre-installation environment. Interesting. So there's not that much to read off, fortunately, but. Oh god, I didn't even realize the screen was flickering a bunch and still, until I like went back to the live stream. Now it says Windows Whistler Personal down there in the bottom, right? So he uh, Rainy Nice was correct. And nice, ooh. Microsoft Codename Whistler. Did I miss the freaking boot screen? I didn't even think about that. I'll have to react to it because I, I completely overlooked it while I was reading that off. Oh wait, look at that! Look at the freaking, we finally got the, uh, the boot up, well, you know, Whistler thing. I just wonder what the future is going to be whenever they finally get rid of this stupid, like, simplistic, modern look to logos. It's so boring. I don't know why companies are doing it. Oop, it's about time to restart. It still considers itself Windows 2000, even though it says Longhorn, or Longhorn, Windows Whistler setup at the top of it. Well, it has the same startup thing, I see. Microsoft codename Whistler has the same Windows 2000 logo and everything at the bottom, but instead of Windows 2000, built on NT technology, just says Microsoft codename Whistler. Can you believe that as soon as Windows 11 was released, they're already starting Windows 12 or Windows New Valley? I don't know if it's New Valley or whatever the H was. It's kind of like tossed up in the air right now. Alright, we get a blue screen. It says what it is in the bottom right. What's going to show up? Windows Whistler Personal. I hope I hope Windows 12 is going to have more, like, really cool sounds. And they don't just copy it from Windows 11 like they did with Windows... Um, like they did with Windows 7, to, or Windows Vista to 7. And then there's 8. But then 10 was different. Ooh, what is this, an newbie? Why is it so quiet? Oh my god, I remember this. I've seen this before, but the, there's no there's no audio. <laughs> you could just push skip Ubi there at the bottom. So it didn't even get to finish the animation for some reason. There's no Merlin either. What the heck? For welcome. <laughs> welcome to Microsoft Windows. Welcome, Gabe. Okay, it still has my profile. 
Thank you for purchasing a computer with Microsoft Windows Whistler. During the next few minutes, you will be guided through a few steps to enable the internet and multimedia capabilities of this computer. Cool, let's push next. I don't know if this UBI is supposed to have sound or not, but I don't want to register at this time. So this is pretty much the same thing, same questions you get in Windows XP. I don't have an internet connection, so I can't really do any of this. And immediately, why does it say four on everything? <laughs> Push finish. Usually it would have like a user thing here, but I already have a user set up, so let's see what happens. <laughs> it's got parentheses around it. <laughs> I don't know if I typed that in correctly. There we go. Now why the heck was there not any like sound when the oops Ubi started? You'd think it would use the intro sound. I guess it's just quiet. I see we kept the same cursors from the last build, so that definitely proves the update. I mean, an upgrade along with the whole screen resolution being, you know, good looking. For me anyways, I don't know about you guys. So did it completely get rid of the uh, the Dell background thing that we got in the last one? I, I think it probably did. Uh-oh, I hope the Dell thing is there, kind of. Or hopefully I can just say, okay, there it is. I'm about to, I'm, I'm gonna have to get rid of this. Let's see, what does the Windows logo look like? I mean, the start menu, I don't know why I said Windows logo. Ooh. Okay. The pinball logo looks like Yin Yang. <laughs> intriguing, intriguing indeed. All right, let me uh, see if I can disable this whole active desktop thing. Now let's see if the uh, whole um, watercolor background has changed at all. Oh, hey, look at that. It's got the whole watercolor theme now. Look at the little pixels and stuff up here. I love this theme. Literally one of my favorite. My custom theme? That's interesting. I'm not sure why the text is, you know, black. Ooh, I see watercolor. Is this what I think it is? Dang it, it's not. I don't think any of these are different. No, these are definitely not different. Let's see, anything special on the screensavers? Seems that way. That's the same, but I think the rest of it's the same as well. Yeah, all this stuff is the same. All right, what about appearance? It should all, okay, it still considers itself professional. Let's swap between the two real quick, just to see if uh, it'll fix any buggy things that were going on. Well, oh God, what the heck? Okay. What an interesting bug. I can't drag anything around the entire t uh, top of the... The entire... <laughs> what? Question mark. Oh no. Okay, so I can't drag it around. Good to know. <laughs> All this is pretty much the same. Let's get out of here. Start menu. Kind of just glides in. Let's see, anything special in properties here? Yeah, that's the notification thing. I'll go ahead and turn this up in case it's not turned up all the way. Oh, did you see that? When you actually select something, it has a little background whenever you hover over it. Nice. Okay, so none of these are really anything I can change. All right, let me read the uh, wiki here and see if there's anything special about it. All right, let's see. Is there anything really special in here? All of this stuff looks the same. You know I gotta play some pinball. Yeah, all of this stuff is the same. There's not really that much in this build to really look at, except for some, you know, changes. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that logo there. I think all the sounds are the same in here as well. Utopia sound scheme. Yeah, nothing's going to be changed in here until pretty much it's the official version of XP comes out for some reason. I'm not sure why, but all right, let's play a little bit of pin. Wait, what is synchronize? To ensure that you have the most current data when working offline, you can have Windows synchronize the data on your computer and the data on the network so that both are up to date. That's cool. I mean, 
I guess it works for the time it came out. Uh, let's see. Let's check the file explorer and see if anything looks different about it. So the whole the comments button is supposed to be up here. Oh, I can actually drag stuff around. It's supposed to be up here, but clearly it's kind of busted. Oh God. even reach a mill on that one. <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to add a number every time I play. All right, well, that was pinball. I didn't even reach a freaking million on that one. So I noticed whenever you push the start button, it just immediately pulls the start button when you push it again. The control panel? Let's see, anything special about the control panel I should look at? Uh, let's go to simple, just, you know, make it look like a control panel. Ooh, oh, whoa! Look at these weird icons, they don't fit. <laughs> what the heck? They don't fit at all, I mean, they look cool. They just don't fit. They look like, a, I don't know, like a, an old Mac. Oh, it just, okay. Hey, the comments button is actually here this time. Did it finally fix itself? Pick a task, any task, or pick a control panel icon. Hmm. Are any of the... Is anything else in here different? No, this shouldn't be different. Or maybe it is different, dang. You know, you never see any icon look like this, ever. It's only in Whistler that it looks like this. It's so weird. Change my pic- Let's look at the pictures. Is there any pictures that come default? Oh my. There is pictures that come default. Why? Where did they get these images from? Wow, what a great preview. It's the same exact size. An alien. I guess this is a flower. And you got your little, little people. Man, if this wasn't pink, and if this was red, I'd choose it. You got another flower. A uh, random... Mushroom, question mark? A random robot. The inside of a shell. A baseball. Another flower, and a UFO. They must have liked- they must like aliens. Oh, they're from Neptune? Oh, okay, I didn't even know that. I never thought to, like, look into this. Um, I'll, I'll keep it at, uh... I'll keep it at this for now. You could use your own picture, of course, but... Related task. Change the theme. I think this is just the themes that I looked at earlier. Yeah. Okay. So it did fix itself. I can drag stuff around now, and the comments button is there. Uh, let's see. Anything else special in here? Well, I guess that leaves me there. Let's see. What version of Internet Explorer is this? 5.6.2257. See, technically they're building, they like, they're building Internet Explorer with Windows. Which is why you couldn't get rid of Internet Explorer, because it was literally baked into the operating system. So anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We didn't really get to do that much, uh, there wasn't that much that changed on here. Obviously the theme changed, some stuff in the control panel changed, of course we had a little bit of fun in Pinball. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Hopefully in the next video they'll have more to look through, and maybe they've changed Internet Explorer in the next video, I honestly am not too certain. But this is the last build before it's considered, uh, you know, beta 1. So I'm hoping to see a different start menu, maybe? Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, make sure, you, make sure um, to go down in the description and click on any links, you know. You can help support me or see what uh, stuff I used to record and stream with and whatnot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to click that like button, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.